Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a red and white pom-pom Valentine's garland. This is a little bit different than my normal paper crafting. This is the Clover pom-pom makers used to create a dimensional decoration. Here's a whole bunch of pom-poms I've already created. So super cute and fun. These are the smaller ones. I am using the 1.4 inch pom-pom maker. This is from the small pom-pom maker kit. There's a couple of different ones in that size. I'm gonna show you all the different sizes of pom-pom makers. They're going to make everything from some super big ones to itty bitty tiny ones. I'm gonna be using not the smallest there is, but definitely a smaller size to create these little pom-poms for a garland. What you wanna do is pull out one side and then start wrapping the yarn or whatever you're gonna be using around that and you wanna wrap it quite a few times. The more you add, the thicker the pom-pom's gonna be. Now for these smaller ones, you're not gonna be using near as much uh, yarn or whatever, tool, whatever kind of ribbon, whatever as you would for a larger one. I like to snip that end, pull out the other side of the pom-pom maker, and then wrap the other side. Once you have the other side wrapped, and you wanna wrap it until it is really full, like till it's almost straight across there on the bottom, there's hardly any arch at all. You wanna trim that, and you can see how full that is, and then make sure you take a sharp pair of scissors and snip through all of that yarn on both sides. You've shut both of those hinges after you've wrapped it. And then you're gonna trim all of that yarn up like that before you open it, because that'll just create a mess if you try to. You wanna take a piece of yarn and wrap that through the center and knot it. I like to go ahead and knot it flip that around to the other side and knot it twice on the other side to make sure it's really good and secure and that I'm not going to have a pom-pom falling apart. Now this is the fun part. I'm just gonna snip those ends off because I'm not creating a hanger. You wanna open up both sides and you can see how awesome and full that is, but it's not very even. Um, I think one of the critical things to do to make really good pom-poms is to shape it. So I like to really take my scissors and shape and shape. Like I said, this is a 1.4 inch in diameter pom-pom or it should make that size. I, once you've done a bunch of trimming like this, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, which is okay, especially for the project I'm creating here. And you can shape it as much as you want to, but it definitely makes a huge difference. I'll show you kind of, in a little bit, I'll have a bunch more, and you'll see the difference between the unshaped pom-poms and the shaped ones. It just makes a huge difference. I'll go ahead and do a red pom-pom here. I am doing a red and white pom-pom garland for Valentine's Day. You could definitely add in some pink. You could go more modern and add in aqua. Um, even coral, I think that would be fun. Lots of different ways. Um, you can see there, I wrap around the yarn a lot. Shut that side, go ahead and flip open the second side of the Clover Pom Pom Maker and wrap the yarn around. These are so fast to make. They really take hardly any time at all. I really prefer to do them like in the evening or something, if we're watching TV or watching a movie, you can just sit and put a whole bunch of them together. And then I usually do all of the shaping all at once. Snip that end. There is the full pom-pom maker. Go ahead and just take the, some nice sharp scissors. Sharp scissors make all the difference. I tried with a pair of scissors that definitely were not sharp and it was very frustrating. Take another little piece of yarn wrap that around the center and we're gonna knot that a couple times so that it makes sure it's really good and secure before you remove the pom-pom from the pom-pom maker. Open up each of those sides now. And you can see it's nice and full, even for a teeny tiny little pom-pom. 
flip that apart. Here are those pom-poms. On the left, you can see the ones I have not shaped. On the right, the ones I did. Big difference, right? So I'm going to just take my scissors and you can see I kind of use hold them at an angle and just move the pom-pom around. Go ahead and fluff it while you're doing this. Um, make sure you get anything that's kind of long, especially some of those maybe beginning string pieces from when you just start wrapping it to the strings from securing it around the middle and just kind of keep shaping it until it looks good. You could really do this forever. <laughs> um, I have to kind of make myself stop or there probably would be no pom-pom left. But you can see I'm cutting off very, very little. It's very fine little fibers there on my work surface. Just kind of just taking the edge of the scissors and moving that pom-pom around, trimming it up and making it look really nice. This is going to help make it look really nice and full. It's going to also make it have that circle shape and look, it's going to look a lot more professional. It's kind of a time consuming um, step. It's not that time consuming, but it's worth it. It is so worth it to go ahead and shape those pom poms, trim them down, make sure you don't have anything kind of crazy sticking out because the pom poms look so much better. Now, to make these into a garland, you could also use them as a vase filler. I think that would be fun. Um, put them in a bowl, whatever you wanna do. They're great for all kinds of decorations. Glue them to a wreath. I'm gonna make a little garland to hang on my fireplace mantle. I had I made a paper garland a couple weeks ago, and I'm hanging them all together. Um, I'll show you that at the end of the video to show you how it looks. But it's super easy to thread some string. I'm using crochet thread on a large needle and I'm going to go ahead and string or um, put that through the center of all of my pom-poms. So th at this point it's just trying to go through the center of the pom-pom so that you make sure that the string is secure. I purposely use something that is pretty narrow. This is a string that's white with a little bit of silver in it. I, I don't want the string to be the focal point. I want the pom-poms to be the focal point. And I'm gonna thread these on. You can make them any distance apart that you want. I started a little further than what I actually ended up and I made a bunch of these pom-poms to thread onto this string. Once I'm done, I create little knots in the string to make hooks to hang them. And then I'll show you here in a second what it looks like hung up. So a very easy, very quick Valentine's project. I think they're really fun. I think it would be fun for lots of different holidays. I could see these at Christmas time. Um, Easter colors would be amazing. You could do red, white, and blue for um, the 4th of July, all kinds of things. I hope this has inspired you to maybe try out a pom-pom maker. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more Valentine's projects that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.